Hi, my name is Jim Reagan. I'm the CMO and co-founder of MRP. And we wanted to respond to Andrew's most recent video about all the different data providers and sources of data that are now available to marketers that they're trying, you know, we're all trying to use so we can engage more closely with our customers and talk a little bit about some of the challenges that we face trying to organize all of those different data sources. You know, and there was one thing that Andrew said towards the end of the video that was actually really exciting. You know, he talked about the resurgence of predictive and predictive modeling and how now that marketers are sort of getting their hands around all of these different data sources, predictive is sort of finally starting to live up to some of his promise. So when I look at all these different data sources, I think the main challenge we think of, and certainly our clients think of, is how do we avoid them becoming additional data silos? And you know, have, being their own little islands of insight about an account. How do we get them all into one platform that can then trigger action? Um, and that's really where this concept of an account-based marketing platform comes into play. You know, at the end of the day, a good account-based marketing platform should be able to ingest all of these different data sources. But ingesting these data sources and presenting them as sort of flat, maybe like account scoring or something like that, that's just not enough. What your account-based marketing platform needs is it needs that predictive analytics sort of built into the core. So in real time, you can get that account ranking you need to identify your most important accounts that are across all of these different criteria. Not just their historical fit and not just their intent, but also their current engagement with all of your different touch points across a bunch of different channels. But from our perspective, that really is still only getting you halfway, right? So you can have the best list of accounts in the world, but if you're then you have to figure out how to action them, or God forbid, how to do a campaign on them, then you're really slowing down. I think one of the things the market's become familiar with, and that certainly we at MRP have become familiar with, is the power of this intent data. You know, finally we can visualize the demand in a target market. And as we see these demands ebb and flow or, or surge, if you will, you know, we can see how crazy it is, the old concept we've had of doing campaigns. So the MRP platform, this ABM platform with predictive built in the core, you know, we call it an ABM platform because the predictive model is what's triggering action. And it's triggering action, it's triggering multi-channel action, which is critical, right? So you know, we're not only pushing these accounts into display, but also email, direct mail, and inside sales. Right? So when an organization shows a certain pattern across all of these different streaming real-time data sources, the appropriate marketing tactic is then triggered. Right? This is what enables that customer centricity and that real-time engagement that is the promise of all these incredible data sources. Right? And the output of this, of course, are going to be opportunities that are headed right into your pipeline. Some of them will be sales ready, but some of them won't. Some of them will have to go into your marketing automation for further nurture. But a large portion of these organizations, if they're already visiting your website, they're already engaging with some of your marketing material, and they're already surging or showing a ton of signals outside of your firewall, those organizations should be going directly to a BDR team. Here at MRP, MRP the actual the BDR team rolls up to marketing. So we have a very tight line of sight on what percentage of these predicted accounts are actually converting into real-time pipeline. And this is the point of this video. That creates something that's very incredible. The feedback loop, the predictive algorithm needs to always make a smarter prediction. If that doesn't exist, if the results of your predictive program and the output of all these different data sources is not feeding your predictive model, then you're not doing machine learning you're not using artificial intelligence, and you're not always getting better, right? So for us, looking at these different data sources, we see the way they can all come together to really transform the way um, clients everywhere are engaging with their most important customers. So thanks, Andrew.